Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number four. In question number four, we have to find the square root of these numbers by prime factorization method. In prime factorization method, first you have to find the prime factors of this particular number, and after that you have to make the pair of two same prime factors and taking one as a common and multiplying them will give the under root or the square root of this desired number. So you have to find the under root of this number. So firstly, we have to find the prime factors. This can be divided by two. Uh, sorry, three. Is three two is six. Is twelve. Four three is twelve. And three three is nine. Again, this can be divided by three. It is eight. Is one. Again, divided by three is twenty seven. Three nine is three three and three one. So in this case. We have got one, two, three, four, five, six prime numbers, and we have to make the pair of two same kind of prime factors and taking one common from each factor will give multiplying this will give twenty seven. So the under root of this must be twenty seven. Same case with four hundred. Firstly, we have to find the prime factors of 400 is 2, is 200, is 2, 100, is 250, is 225, is 5, is 5 into 1. So in this case, one pair, two pair, and three pairs. So taking one from each as a common and multiplying them will give uh, the Under root of this, which is equals to 20. Same case with this also. It is 1764. Find the prime factor. We have to first divide by 2. It's 8 to the 16. 8 to the 16. 2. It's 2 into 4 into 4 into 1. And this is actually uh, the. Multiple of twenty-one, or if you are not able to find what should be the, uh, uh, this is uh, is uh, dividing by twenty-one. So you can simply divide it by three. It is three one is three. It's fourteen. Four three is twelve. It's two twenty-one. It's seven. So again, three. It is uh, four three is twelve. Twenty-seven and nine. And this is seven again seven. So in this case, one pair, two pair, and three pair. So taking one from each pair as a common and multiplying them, it is seven three is a twenty one, and it is forty two. And in this case also, we have to find the prime factors of this. So this is two two zero. Four to the eight sixteen. Uh, eight to the sixteen. So again, two one zero two four. It's two five one two. It's two two five six. It's two one two eight. It's two six four. And this is this could be a uh, two thirty two two sixteen and. This four and four. Uh, in this case, you can also divide it by two and again two. But we already know that the if sixteen is divided by four, will give only one pair. So one pair, two pair, three pair, four pair, and five pair. And taking one from each, it will be two and two from this, two from this, two from this, and four from this. One, two, three, four, five. Multiplying this, two, two, zero, four, two, zero, eight, two, zero, sixteen, four, zero, sixty-four. So the under root of this must be equals to sixty-four. Uh, in same case, question number five can also be solved. You have to find the prime factors of this number. So dividing by two, it's three, eight. Uh, into the 16 again 1 carry this is 14 so this is 7 to the 14 and 2 again 
Being divided by two, we give two on the two. One carry. This will be eighteen. So uh, nine two the eighteen. Three two the six. Again one carry. Six two the twelve. Again divide. This can be divided by two. It is nine two the eighteen. One carry. This is thirteen. So six two the twelve. Again one carry. Eight two the sixteen. This can again be divided by two. This four two the eight. One carry. This is sixteen. So this can be divided by eight times eight two the. Eight to the sixteen, and this can be four. Again divided by two, it's two four two. Two divided by one two one, and this is divided by eleven. So in this case, uh, one pair can be. These are the possible pairs. So taking one from each as a common. So two from this, two from this. And two from this, and in the last level, and multiplying this, we will get eighty-eight. So the under root of this must be eighty-eight. In same manner, we can find the under roots of remaining all the numbers. Thank you.